next up we have, I've forgotten the name of it. Everything's falling apart. Just leave it. Hello and welcome to another internet content. Today we are going to be going over my five star predictions. There are 10 books on this list. Some of them have already come out and some of them are 2021 releases. So this will kind of serve as a most anticipated list as well. It's two videos in one, collab, falling apart, a little bit drunk. We are going to be going through these or at least editing me is be going to be putting these in uh, release order. So we're gonna start with the oldest one that's been released all the way up to whatever the latest 2021 release is. Since it has become apparent to me that I don't actually know anything about the books that I'm going to want to read, this will mostly end up being me reading you Goodreads summaries. So look forward to that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The first book that I have on this list is The Kind Worth Killing by Peter Swanson. This is a story about murder. All that I know about this one is that it's a very famous thriller and thrillers are one of my favorite genres so I'm very interested in this one. I know his last release got some mixed reviews and he has another one coming out this year, uh, Every Value Break. That sounds like it will actually be really good, so hopefully I get to this one before maybe getting to his newer releases, and hopefully I like one or both or everything, all books I read forever. What is this video? The Goodreads description says that it is a devious tale of psychological suspense involving sex, deception, and an accidental encounter that leads to murder. Yeah. Yeah. I want to read that. Yeah. Next up, we have Behind Her Eyes by Sarah Pimbrough. This is probably the most risky one on the list because I've heard that this is one that you're either gonna love or that you're gonna hate. And I'm hoping that I am in camp love. I have heard that the twist ending of this is one of the most wild ones you'll ever read. So I don't even wanna read the Goodreads description just cause I want to go in knowing as little as possible, but I am very excited about this one. Next up we have Natalie Tan's Book of Luck and Fortune by Roselle Kim. I honestly don't know where I first heard about this book from. It's been on my TBR forever and I just haven't gotten to around to it for some reason. Goodreads says, after the news of her mother's death, Natalie Tan returns home. The two women haven't spoken since Natalie left in anger seven years ago when her mother refused to support her chosen career as a chef. Natalie is shocked to discover the vibrant neighborhood of San Francisco's Chinatown that she remembers from her childhood is fading. Okay, so I clearly didn't read this ever. This doesn't sound familiar to me at all. Um, but I have heard that it's a romance and I'm still interested. Next up, we have Never Rolled Wake by Marisha Pessel. I have heard that this is sort of like a YA thriller with a Groundhog Day element where people are reliving the same day over and over again. The back says, I was going to be stuck here forever, here in the never world where I'd never grow old, never have a family, never fall in love. I was a ticking clock in a timeless world. I've just heard so many good things about this one and so many people talk about it that I kind of don't want to know more. I know a lot of these, the books on this list are thrillers, so I kind of want to keep my knowledge vague, but this one I'm very interested in. So much that I bought a hardcover copy, so I'm invested in this one especially. Next up, we have Anxious People by Frederick Backman. I think that's right. I said it and immediately regretted it. No, it is Backman. Frederick Backman. Um, he is the author of Beartown, which swope the, which swope? Wow. I'm fine. He is the author of Beartown, which is a wildly successful book that I read a couple years ago and I think has very different tone from this, um, but I did still really enjoy Beartown. Uh, the Goodreads description says, a poignant, charming novel about a crime that never took place. A would-be bank robber who disappears into thin air and eight extremely anxious strangers who find they have more in common than they have ever imagined. It sounds like a great little... A uh, slice of life kind of piece with a big cast of characters all coming together for a bank robbery. I don't know. I have heard great things about this one as well. It has a crazy high rating on Goodreads too. Yeah, it's got a 4.3. So I have very high expectations for this one. Next up, we have Hench by Natalie Zena Walshcott. Hope I got that right. This just came onto my radar recently and I am 
the most excited about. I think of everything on the list, this is the one I'm most excited about. This just sounds like it was plucked directly from my brain. <laughs> Let me read you the Goodreads. Just kidding, it's not on Goodreads, it's on someone's Instagram post that I screenshot and saved, so. Here's that. Deadpool meets The Incredibles in Hench, a novel about a woman who does administrative work for villains and discovers her greatest superpower, for good or evil, is a properly executed spreadsheet. You just win. You have won my heart and you have created the perfect book. If this one lives up to the hype that I am internally giving it, it's going to be incredible. I'm so excited about this one. Next up we have The Project by Courtney Summers. This is our first 2021 release and I am so excited about it. Sadie was officially my favorite book of 2020 so I am beyond hyped for the project. What I know about this one is it is about a girl whose sister I think gets caught up in a cult and she has to go in and save her and cult stuff is great, Courtney Stevens is great, everything is great, super super hyped for this one. <laughs> yes, I'm hyped for all of them, but like Sadie is the only thing that I've read by Courtney Summer, so I feel like if this one lives up to my expectations, she's gonna be skyrocketed to a new all-time favorite author. No pressure. No pressure, Courtney. Next up, we have Psalm for the Wild Built by Becky Chambers. I have read and loved uh, The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. This is a great book. I have the sequels as well, but I haven't gotten around to them. This is the start of a new series called The Monk and the Robot, I believe. And I don't know, it just sounds like something that I'm gonna love, especially the intersection of technology and philosophy. Those are both two subjects that I'm really interested in and their intersection is great. And I just think Becky Chambers is such an excellent writer that I would read anything that she wrote. Next, we have For Your Own Good by Samantha Downing. I know Samantha Downing has written my lovely wife and he started it previous to this. I have read neither of those. I am so far behind but this sounds like something that I'm just gonna love. I'm hoping that like especially my lovely wife is something that I'm gonna love as well but this sounds very much up my alley. A sneaky thriller set at a prestigious private school complete with interfering parents, overeager students, and one teacher who just wants to teach them all a lesson. Evil teacher just sounds excellent to me. I don't know what it says about me that Evil Teacher sounds like something that's totally gonna be my jam, but it's totally gonna be my jam. And the final book, if you're tired of me talking about Helen Huang, just click off the video now because we're gonna talk about Helen Huang again. The author of The Kiss Quotient, amazing. The Bride Test, also amazing. Has the third book in the series coming out called The Heart Principle, and it's gonna be, guess, guess what? amazing. It's about one of the side characters in, I think he's in both of these books, Helen Wank and Nuna Rung, and I have utmost faith that this is going to be a five star. If I had to put money on any one of these, yeah. Sorry, I'm just looking at the list and just be like, am I, am I saying anything? Yeah, if I had to put money on any of these, definitely, definitely being a five star, it's going to be the heart principle. I have absolute faith in Helen Huang. She has not done me wrong and August cannot come soon enough. And that's it. That's a whole video. Quick and easy. Just wanted to let you know my most anticipated books. Very excited. Honestly, filming this video is kind of making me want to abandon my current TBR, uh, but I'm going to stick with it. We just, uh, we're gonna work on prioritizing these as soon as possible. Let me know if you're anticipating any of these books or if there's any that you think would suit my taste that I should be aware of. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.